the elven king hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. Oh, hey, look, Camilla was right about lighting all the torches. <laughs> Or the last two. Oh, I think I need to equip these. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, I guess I just have them? Huh. Laid at Lutovic's feet, a loaf of binnen, an elfin bread, thus granting humans rule over seat yielding lands. Elven bread. I think I already grabbed some. Oh, there it is. Ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Gwinoet, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. At long last, the elfin king grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. Don't interrupt. No, how, how do I draw them? Ah, I finally got a shield! His pride, I finally got a shield! His blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. I'm not trying to interrupt, I'm trying to kneel. Lutovic then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... Oh. Statues! Impossible! God's mother! Oh my good God! Bro, let Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't I can't get out! shot Ow. fuck can I switch back to my favorite weapons please gotta kill the witch first yeah no shit Pathetic. nope need you steal Her rate of fire is bullshit? Where, God, there's like random... Where are those fireballs even coming from? Oh my God, that is such bullshit. They're literally coming from nowhere. It's not the witch that's the problem. It's the fucking like... Uber fireballs from hell. Jesus Christ. Okay. We're just going to go all in here. No more, no more fucking around. Um... Hmm. 
Hmm. Seeing if there's anything that helps me with magic. Maximum vitality would not be bad. Thunderbolt would also not be bad. Not too late to start. My God, there are two witches. I didn't even see the second one. Okay, so we just gotta we just gotta blitz the witches. If we can blitz the witches, we'll be fine. That is legit the most obscene levels of damage I have seen in this entire game. Ow, fucking. Oh, okay, now I see. grief that was the, the hardest fight they came alive i've seen in what ages don't know specialize in killing monsters reviving them not so much <laughs> i i may know what happened the statues you see once stood in the palace of one defethov i acquired them a month oh past, he went a little too legit perhaps i should start at the beginning this Devethev I love this soundtrack. tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Devethev had planned Lutovic's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such. Columns activated with words said in homage. Columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshh. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this for your reward. Farewell. Ugh. Ugh, that quest. That quest hurt so bad. <laughs> so painful. Good God, dude. You don't get to fight very many wizards in this game. Why is that sword better than mine? Why? Why is my Grandmaster sword so garbage? This is supposed to be a fantastic sword. And it is getting, like, grossly overwhelmed by our other ones. But it looks cooler than our other ones. So, like, I guess I'll keep wielding it. But, like, why is it so bitch? I thought the Grandmaster set was supposed to be, like, the ultimate stuff. <laughs> I'll play worse. Faster. Yeah, it was it was very fun. It was just, I'm shocked how how hard they hit. I mean, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the tanky armor set 
<laughs> I've got it like full tanked out. All right. We have finished all of the side quest. We have hunted down all of the gear. We have hunted every monster. Literally the only quest left is the main quest. Get out of my way, Foglets. Tire your shit. All right. It is long over. We started this quest and then we ended up not finishing it because we suddenly realized that we were doing main quest stuff and so we ran away. Just discovered your stream, hadn't realized people even still streamed Witcher 3. Uh, welcome. Yeah, we're, we're almost done with Witcher 3. Uh, we played through all of. Um, we beat the main game. We beat um, Heart of Stone. And we've 100%ed everything that we can. Yeah, we, we talk a lot. Yeah, so hello. <laughs> if you're new around here, uh, on the very off chance there, uh, I know Play Wars is mentioned, but if uh, anyone else is new here, hi, I'm Loremaster Sotek. Uh, I'm considered kind of one of the premier authorities on Warhammer Fantasy lore and literature. I also do a lot of stuff with Age of Sigmar lore and literature. Uh, I'm very heavily involved in the Warhammer Fantasy uh, Total War Warhammer games. Oh, okay, yeah, you know me. <laughs> cool. I've got my name in the credits and Warhammer three and two uh or total War warhammer two and three i should say i'm in the warhammer fantasy fan movie that's coming out some point this year i'm a, I'm a, I'm a busy dude but yes welcome yeah i do live stream on twitch though i'm i'm a variety streamer on twitch i don't just do warhammer stuff all right that pig's tie. need to search it thoroughly find a way to collect some white saliva Yes, we need to get some white saliva so that we can help our vampire buddy help us find a way to defeat the big scary vampire. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Where am I going to craft the mana corset? And we'll get Spoon's around to that. That's incredible. The craftsmanship must have graced a rich man's table. Stained diary. For a few days now, I've been having dizzy spells. I never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't say in witchcraft and sorcery, I'll have to visit a herbalist. The dizziness has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been joined by pain, so strong at that at times I cannot see. I've been to the herbalist. A repulsive old crone looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some cursed mixture that I have to drink twice a day. It's not helping at all. Today, like every day, I looked in the mirror and I was lost for words. I usually check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes, but today there were no wrinkles, but I'd rather that there were. I have hair growing on my breasts. It's horrible. It's got to be because of those damned herbs. I went to the herbalist to smash her face in, but her chambers were empty. She must have known what would happen to me and legged it. My family is starting to suspect something, although I'm cutting the hair back, which is growing faster and faster. I've tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold it back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar whom... I had to chase off one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who could find the herbalist. I cannot think and it's getting hard to write. Loneliness, no family. Eat. I want to eat. Not a good spoon. Empty spoons. Nothing eat. It hurts. Mirror. Lies. No. Girl. Ah. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. So, woman that turned into a white, it seems like. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe. Find a way downstairs. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. No spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Man, she's hungry. But nothing sates her, but so she thinks it's a spoon Another that'll spoon. do it. Yep, just as normal as the last one. This is sad as fuck. Spring key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. Spoon key note. This certifies the auto item up for auction. An antique spoon key forged at the Christofferson and Sons Workshop in 1210. Belongs to a Smeagol Circus, owner of the pheasantry. Ah, yes, we found dear Gollum. He is super dead now, but we did find him a while ago. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. 
Oh man. Skeletons. Don't they came here willingly? This have anything to do with the curse? Yes, this is my first playthrough. I shall sit and dine with you at your table. It makes sense. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. It's my first Broken playthrough, and we've been 100%ing the game. Skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Ugh. Decaying letter. Dear Master Levasseur, I know you track outlaws for pay. I have an unusual assignment for you. No doubt you wonder why I've drawn you out here and why we cannot meet in person. You see, in my present situation, any kind of meeting is very risky. Not so much for me as for the person with whom I meet. For I am afflicted by a curse, or, as I hope and why I've turned to you, the side effects of medicine given to me some time ago by an herbalist. Soon after I visited this herbalist, she disappeared without trace. I desperately wish to understand my illness, so I wish to hire you to find her. When you do, learn as much from you can about the medicine she gave me. If my suffering is a result of her wickedness, then make her provide an antidote. I assure you I have ample wealth and will reward you with no small part of it for your services. If it turns out my suffering is not the fault of the herbalist, please let her go. I will then have a different task for you, because this shall mean I am afflicted by a terrible curse which only the gods can cure. I believe it was cast upon me by a certain beggar who came by the manor while I was hosting a soirée, uh, soirée for a few friends. If you can find that vagrant, I will pay you double. Sadly, all I remember of him is that he sold mirrors. I'm aware this is not much aid for your hunt, yet I trust in your considerable talents and wish you the best of luck. Marlene de Trastamara. Hmm. Um, quick answer is okay. Is there a lore reason why Safari has so much slanesh corruption? So the nitty gritty of it is like, is there a reason why Safari specifically would have so much? No, not really. Um, if anything, Safari would probably have the least amount of slanesh corruption because it's where the Swordmasters of Hoeth originate from, and the Swordmasters of Hoeth act as the secret police for Ulthuan. Um, they are responsible for rooting out the pleasure cults that to this day plague Ulthuan. Um, and are very, very, very aggressive uh, and uh, dogged in their pursuits. That being said, there is a gameplay reason, and that is basically just to provide, um, you know, easier to manipulate fodder for Nakari because his start position is so close. Yeah, yeah, this does seem like it's um, Woman's name Mirror Boy, Mirror Master, Mirror spoon. Lord, whatever the hell his name is. Semantic. Don't miss him, by the way. Dude was a jackass. Actually, does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. That being said, um there's also a considerable amount of chaos corruption uh, around the tops of the Anuli mountain range, which are the mountains that split Ulthuan from the inner kingdoms to the outer kingdoms. And because there's like so much corruption, because the winds of magic are constantly scraping across them, coming spiraling into the vortex, um, there's often like large amounts of demons and other nasty things that are like able to come down from the mountains. So it could just be that when Total War Warhammer starts, you could argue that, oh, there's just for. stuff going on. White's not particularly tidy. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to go down there yet. So I'm guessing the white is downstairs. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. Afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Okay, let's pop downstairs real quick and see what's down here. 
Sounds like spiders. Words of wisdom on beastly curses. Monstrous curses are description. Introduction. Curses that change a fellow into a monstrous creature have existed since the dawn of time. They have a variety of origins and a variety of effects. It normally happens that a major sorceress casts a curse and the spell changes the subject. It doesn't always happen straight away. Sometimes the person who has been cursed slowly changes bit by bit. It also happens that a normal fellow can cast a curse, someone whose conscience is clear and who has done good in their life. Such a person can acquire power and thus the aggrieved can place a curse on the evildoer. Such curses are strong and cannot be removed easily. Thus, everything by which human suffering is atoned by long, uh, long and lasting pain. White's obsessed, real collector. Could you imagine if that was an actual thing that could happen? Of them here. Oh my God. White's been a collector for years. A lot of spoons. Okay, no, I can't go in here without a key. Okay, cool. All right, time to summon the white. She's just in there, just bah! <laughs> that can't really happen in Warhammer, though. Uh, no, it can, because like there are actual gods that are very active. There she is. No, I want to try and help her. I feel bad for this lady, especially if Mirabro screwed her over. killing people for years i mean she got turned into a monster you tried to bring folk here convince them to sit at the table with you right well i'm gonna be your guest now your willing guest We got what we came for, too. Did she just bark at us? Need to get this right. Words of the curse were None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. No spoon shall say you. To me, that says we should not use spoons then. Let's get that one more time. I need to get this right. Words of the curse were, none shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection Wait. in the mirror. Well, no, to me that don't. Because it says none shall sit and dine at your table, but that's what we're doing. So we're like, we're breaking what the curse says will happen. And then it says, no spoon shall sate you. Let's swap spoons. Been searching for the right spoon for years, right? The curse 
curses can be tricky. The key to this one just might be that you can't eat with your own spoon. That's why we've swapped. <laughs> Gross. This isn't right. I miss something. Listen, gonna stand up real slow. Gotta search the house again. Sit tight, I'll be right back. Calm down. Stuff for nothing. Got the brew for Regis at least. Can't do anything for the white though, except cut it down. <laughs> Can't do anything for it. Says you. <laughs> Will I reload? Of course I'm gonna reload. You think I'm sticking with the bad ending? Not in this house. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. Afraid he won't get that. Yada 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 yada. Somewhat, yeah, but not no, not me. I'm already I've already uh, too long. I've been I've been in this for too long now. Okay, so I guess let's go with my need to get this right. Words of the curse were not... I all right, let's try with my gut. This was my gut response. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Reflection in the ball. I look poisoned as fuck. <laughs> Girl, you don't look so good, buddy. I think it worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. See, that's weird though, because like according to the wording of the curse, it said that Not none right. shall sit at her table. So like according to the curse, that shouldn't have worked because we did sit at her table. So we're like violating what the curse like, I guess predicted slash said. But then it says, no, 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 you have to do with the curse. I don't know. Come on, come closer. I feel like that wasn't worded well. Oh, she's eat. I, I must eat. Wow. This is a little old lady now. I'll take you oh. safe. Yeah, you're right, play worse. Right the first time. Why did I second guess myself? I should have just gone with my gut reaction. I would have been fine. So I took her by the hand and let her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. Oh, we brought her home. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir. Uh, refeeding, refeeding She's syndrome. She's safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Uh... 
It feels like if I say two... Eh, whatever. Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. <laughs> One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. 